Anything you cast should have a uh, three degree taper to it so you can pull it out of the sand properly. So this looks like it'd work just as a demonstration piece. So I have uh, these two half boxes go together to form one box and I got it color coded so I keep the orientation right when I make my casting. Some nice side handles. So So you'd uh you put your aluminum in the crucible, I don't really recommend melting copper beer can. You really get a lot of slag because it's uh thin walled and uh it oxidizes a lot quicker. This is probably a little too massive, but you can use thicker hunks of aluminum. This is probably on the extreme side. Charge your crucible with the fat. I actually use house gas to power this. It's regular city natural gas. You could use propane. Uh, the economics are actually in using house gas, but if you wanted to do this outdoors in a more remote location, propane wouldn't be a bad way to go. I mean, something like that. <laughs> Obviously this wouldn't be OSHA approved. Many potential areas for gas leaks, like where's my uh, junction between two hoses. All very flammable stuff here. So. So the uh, gas and air would mix at the bottom and circulate all the way up to the top to this top part here. So basically corkscrews up to the top of the gas and the uh, burning fuel. Assuming you're uh, Aluminum's already melting and at the right temperature. Next step is to grab it with the tongs and put it in this thick, specially made uh,